Hello, this is a video demonstration for on Florian POS, the point of sale system. It can it, it is a free uh, uh, system and works on Linux, Windows, or Mac. So uh, when you download the zip file and unzip the file, you have uh, several files that open. I'll just use the batch, so you use the batch file for Windows and your shell file for the Linux. Okay, I'm, I'll just use the uh, start server batch file to open the database, um, and this is what you should see. It should you should see server is ready to accept connections. If it doesn't say that, then uh, more than likely you don't have uh, Java installed properly. Once you do that, then you open uh, Florian POS batch file, and this is the window that comes, and you log in with an administrator uh, password the uh, password the administrator password that just comes uh, if you download it for the first time is one two three one two three so this is for a user um, that opens a ticket and i'll just quickly open a ticket to show you what you should you should see when you click on a new uh, this is a table number you enter and the uh, number of guests in that table you enter and the purpose that I open this is to show you that in your menu uh, on in Florient, the way you administer is that each menu item is under a menu category, a menu group, and each group is under category. Okay, so in my case, beverages, we have cold beverages or hot beverages. In the cold beverages, I have all these products. Okay, in the hot beverages, I have this product. So you have big categories, and then in the, under the categories, you have items. Under the items, you have menu. Uh, no, I'm sorry. In, under the categories, you have groups. Under the group, you have menu items, and then this is how the ticket is created. Uh, if you want to see the details on how you create and process a ticket, watch my other video on a user, my uh, Florian POS 1 video. But this is meant for administrators. So the main thing you need to do is click on back office. And when you click on back office, you see three um, items in on this uh, menu bar. Um, in the admin menu uh, bar, you see uh, the drop down menu, configuration, users, user types, uh, and this other stuff. I, I won't show you those just to save time. And the explorer. This is what, what I told you about, this menu categories, groups, and items. That's how you create the groups and the items. I'll just quickly show you those. And uh, there are all sorts, sorts of reports that you can uh, print. You can create and, and print. And that's the reports. Usually, I use the sales balance report. Um, that's for daily sales balance that I, 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 I do. I'll show you that one quickly also. So in the admin, the configuration, you need to type in the restaurant name and address. You don't have to type the address, but the restaurant name. So it shows on uh, the receipt tickets or on reports, okay? And you, uh, I type the correct telephone number there so so that the ticket has the my, my phone number on it. Um, here, you uh, select you you uh, you, uh, you you tell Florian what ticket printer you use. This is not actually a ticket printer, but I have a ticket printer one of these in, in my restaurant uh, computer. I have the ticket printer name on it and a kitchen ticket ticket printer also here. Okay. Um, those are the two things that I use on the configuration for the users. Uh, you can enter uh, your uh, servers and your name also. Maybe you are the administrator, so you have to uh, you have a user ID and a name. And this is pretty self-explanatory. So if you can add, you can add a user. Okay. And this is usually what I use for my uh, uh, in the administration um, drop-down menu. Now to add menu items, meaning the restaurant menu items. First you add 
you create category list, a list of categories. Uh, and in if so for each one you can click add and add the category. It's you know again uh, if you follow your nose I think you can uh, figure out what this is. Once you have the categories then you can create menu groups and you can see that each group here is under a menu category. Okay, so in my case, for instance, in the under the dinner category, I have a few items here, uh, and under beer and wine category, I have some few things in here. Okay, and then you can uh, enter a menu item, uh, or this is the list of the menu items we have in, in our restaurant. Let me just show you how you can add a menu item, just so I can show you quickly. So you type in the name of the menu, let's just say test item, okay. And you can cl click a group for it. Let's just put it in the appetizers group. And you can type in the price of your item. Let's just say the price is $12. And well, here you have you have to tell it what kind of tax this item uh, applies to. Okay. And if you didn't have a tax percentage already entered, you can click. Here, I'll just zoom in and show you. You can click here and enter an, a new tax item with a name for it. Uh, for otherwise, once you enter that, you can select that tax uh, item. Um, for a, so I'm just going to show you what this looks like. Okay, the new tax rate. So you have a name for, for the tax rate and the percentage in my case. In our city, the tax rate is 10.5%. So what I did is I just put my uh, city name and then put that. And when you did that, then you uh, have a, an, an item. So I'll just show you how, uh, whether this item is in there, okay? Let's just say we have two it two customers with uh, on table two. I think I put it in the appetizer. Let's see my test item here. So I just enter this and you click on it, the $12 and the percentage calculated and the total calculated and we can, we may have other stuff in here. Okay, and finish so the ticket is created. Another thing that I'd like to show you is in the reports, uh, you click on sales balance report. Usually we use that for daily uh, sales report at the end of the day. And it tells us the source balance report. The one little thing that I want to mention in here is that um, in this daily report, unless they fix it now, um, the report doesn't see um, the transaction past 11 o'clock of the day. It, so um, instead of calculating from 12 o'clock midnight to the 11:59 the next night for the day it calculates from 12 o'clock midnight till 11 o'clock the next night so I in my case I had to go to you know, the source code and fix um, the source the source code and they may have fixed it by now all right and there were there was one more little uh, minor calculation error also they probably have fixed it now um, well this is the uh, uh, a demonstration for for managers I hope uh, this is useful, um, and if there are things that you want me to address, just put it in on the comments, and I'll uh, take a look at it, and I'll probably answer your questions.